Okay, so I've got the reel-to-reel -reel, uh, part of this Robert 770X uh, recorder pulled out of the cabinet now, and this is the back part of it, you know, the motor and the um, and this part here is where those two back cams are, and look over here. These were the old cams that uh, that just basically disintegrated. Um, and they were just made out of some kind of a, a pot metal. Um, they had to cast everything back then, so it was cheaper to do it this way than I guess to to machine them. So, but uh, they've held up for 50 years. But uh, so, but again, these are this is a known issue with most of these Roberts and Akai uh, recorders. So, uh, and again, I've been fortunate enough to be able to find some replacement cams that uh, um, that seem to work pretty well. And again, this is the uh, the record arm that uh, the cam will push this thing over. And when it pushes over, it activates the record function on those preamps. So, which you'll see in a previous video um, on top of the, uh, there's a switch on top of the, uh, the preamps that they go from play to record mode so and then you can see this new cam here um, that uh it's like a flipper kind of when you turn the control on the front the play and when it goes over to the record mode it, it it pushes over and it hits this this little roller wheel which pushes this arm out so to engage it so that again that one's fairly easy to get to uh, they've got set screws on them, and this one, you don't really have to take anything apart um, to install that one. And then the other one is on the rewind and the fast forward, and um, you can see that flipper there. It's uh, That one's a, a little harder to get to, but it's not that difficult. Um, you just you have to take, you have to remove this base plate here, um, this this triangular base plate. You have to take off a, a couple of screws uh, here, and you'll have to remove the spring and take off the screw, this screw over here, and then you'll also take these off so you can push this plug out of the way. And then this arm, it's difficult to see, but down here, that's uh, actually, it's, it's not, it's another, like a brass fitting that uh, screws in to the stud, and this stud will come off and uh, this arm will come off too. And that way you can pull this, this plate off. Once you get this plate off, then it's it's simple to, 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 to put this into place here. So, um, and so again, these are, these are much easier than the, the front ones. And my front, the front two cams are, are in good condition on this, uh, this one. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll hold up for a while, but I, I do have the the two for the front also, uh, just in case they do go bad. But then again, the other issue that I was, I haven't addressed yet, but were these, uh, these AC, uh, capacitors, uh, one here and there's one over here that's attached to the side of the motor. And this is a, a, a dual capacitor. It's a, a two and a 0 0.8 uh, UF microfarad. So, um, and these are these are AC, not DC. So, uh, again, I, I, there was a guy on YouTube that tried to put a, uh, an electrolytic DC capacitor on here, and then, and I guess it blew up. Uh, I don't think it didn't hurt him or anything. It didn't cause any damage, but. Uh, he he learned a lesson and, and I learned a lesson too. So these were the things I was unsure about. Um, so I didn't change them out yet. And you can see 1967. So these are original. Um, and uh, these are the replacement uh, motor capacitors. Uh, there's the one UF and then there's a two UF. So these are pretty cheap. They're uh, four or five dollars or something. You can get them on eBay or most anywhere. Um, so... Uh, and I think that it shouldn't be too difficult to, to change these out. Um, I couldn't find a, a 0.8 UF, so I'm just going to use a, a 1 UF there. 
and then there's another one UF here, and then I've got the two US. So, so you'll just have to, uh, I'll just have to kind of figure out how to kind of get this, probably some zip ties or something to hold it down. Um, and, the, and it works pretty well, but again, when I, when I go into fast forward mode, uh, on this it after a while it seems to slow down and um i've read that that's probably you know the main factor to this so um but uh and also these are the uh the, the the two speaker leads one to the left and the right and uh i decided to go ahead and put some quick connects on here because the way it was originally done is these run directly to the speaker and they're soldered to the speaker terminals, which is a pain. You basically have to cut them to, to get the thing out of here. So I, I put some, uh, these little quick connects on here and I ran some extension leads, uh, off of the speakers too. So I have a little more room to work with when I want to, if I want to pull this out again. So, um, but, um, the belts are all original, seem to be in pretty good condition. So, anyways, hopefully this helps you guys out a little bit more. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll try to uh, try my best to, to answer them for you. So, I appreciate you watching and uh, take care. Bye.